to another episode of Study With Jess. I hope you're all having a fantastic week and I'm so excited for this episode because I've got some really awesome study tips for you guys and also one of my favourite DIYs that I have been doing for quite a while. So I'm really hoping that you guys are going to love it and if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And also, if you do recreate the DIY, then please take a photo, upload it onto social media and use the hashtag study with Jess so that I can see all of your photos. So the first tip for today is a little trick that I like to use to help me remember a whole bunch of information and it's just a way to make it more memorable so that it does consolidate into your memory really well. And then the second tip today is a bit of an interactive study idea. So I really like doing this because it helps me study for tests and it makes my study sessions a lot more fun compared to just, you know, sitting in the library, reading your notes over and over again and getting tired. So they're the tips for today. And then the DIY is what I like to call a happiness toolbox or toolkit. Um, it's something that I've been doing for a while and it was actually my cousin's idea. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own happiness toolbox and I really hope that you love it. Anyway, let's get started. Tip number one. Use an existing tune or make up a silly song or rhyme about important facts to help consolidate them in your memory. I definitely recommend this tip to help you learn information because the more meaningful you can make something, the easier it is to remember. We all know how to sing the alphabet and I know that I can still recite a lot of my poems and songs from my childhood. It's really the same idea guys. Just be sure that you don't recite your rhyme or start singing the song out loud while you're in class or you might get a couple odd looks coming your way. But hey, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do to get that A plus, right? A cell's nucleus is the brain, the centre of the cell could be its name. Chromatin is in long strands with DNA and chromosome bands. There are two types of cells we know where eukaryotic and the other one's pro. The endoplasmic reticulum, pronouncing it is loads of fun. It winds from the nucleus out in the cell, moving materials extremely well. Mitochondria is the powerhouse, it breaks down food to get energy out. Or lysosomes that break down waste, without them what a problem we'd face. These are the cells that we must know, for without them we would not grow. Each one has its important role, working hard to achieve their goal. <laughs> Number two, for an interactive study activity, ask a friend or family member to scatter your flashcards around a room and read each one as you find them. I love this tip because I find that sitting at my desk and studying all day can get really boring and I start to feel fidgety. If you find you need to get moving, then this is a great way to spice up your study sessions and make things a little more fun. Also, learning information through an interactive activity will make the material you learn more meaningful, which means you'll be able to remember it better than you would have by reading over it at your desk. I absolutely love this DIY. It has honestly helped me so much to stay calm and manage my stress levels throughout the year. My cousins and I have been making our own happiness toolboxes for a while and we always like to share around different ideas of what to put in them. So I like to keep quite a few items in my box because this way I have a lot of different options to choose from. I'm putting in some of my favourite photos. lavender spray, some cards I made with my favourite inspirational quotes, my favourite owl mug, a squishy stress ball to squeeze all my stress out.
a yummy scented candle, my journal, these healing crystals which my mum bought me, a scented eye pillow that I like to place over my eyes to help me relax, and my favourite yoga DVD. If you guys make your own happiness DIY boxes, then I would absolutely love to hear what sort of things you like to store in them to make you feel happy. So leave me a comment below in the box. Thanks so much for watching you guys. That's all for this video. I hope you really loved it, that you loved the tips and also the DIY. Again, if you do make your own happiness toolbox or toolkit, then please, I would love if you would take a photo and upload it and just use the hashtag studies just so that I can see it. I really want to know what sort of things you would put in your happiness toolbox because I'm always thinking of different things to put in mine, so I'd love to hear from you guys. Just leave a comment below letting me know what you do. Also, if you did love this video, then give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you loved it. And subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. I think the subscribe button's there. Um, that side or that side? That side. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on more awesome study tip videos and DIYs. And also you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Study With Jess. So make sure to follow me because I've got more study tips on my other social media pages as well. And yeah, that's all for this week. So I will see you guys next week. Have an awesome week. Be really productive. And I love you guys. Bye.